Somehow tea bags are the smallest containers that we use and we find them in every home all over the world. Bags were among the first tools used in prehistoric times when we were hunter and gatherers, actually more gatherers. 80% of the food was vegetarian, seeds and roots. Bags were very important. They were a survival tool. If you could take home just what you can carry with your hands, you would starve. Like today, we need big shoppers when we go to the supermarket. It's actually a long time I wanted to do a rucksack because it is a symbol of free traveling, which ended up long time ago. But to make such a big rucksack, I needed the help of my poetry friends. And so I sent the idea around and everybody got involved. The whole thing spread out. I asked my friends to write a poem about the subject. Because poetry for me is a primary symbol of freedom of expression. So I got to know Mamta Saga, a famous poet and artist from India. She became the co-curator and organized the participation of 28 poets from India with 15 different languages. On the 26th September, at the Little Museum of Poetry in Piacenza, in Italy, we presented the rucksack installation. Apart from the rucksack itself, the poems were exhibited and there was an audio loop so the public could listen to the voices of the poets reciting in their mother tongues. The 250 participants were all mixed up the tea bags, the poems, the languages, emphasizing the value of closeness so significant in this historical moment. Among the participants, there are many who use poetry to go beyond poetry, those who try to unite the poetic voices that exist all over the world, who create networks, communication. Networking seems to me to be of utmost importance in this historical period. The pandemic taught us that we are part of a global community and that we have responsibility towards this enormous community. And many artists are beginning to become aware that their skills have a social dimension. This is the spirit of my group, Poetry is My Passion, here in Italy. Unite the international voices, respecting the linguistic and cultural diversity. And this is the philosophy of the rucksack, the backpack.